Yeah. You guys know. You guys know I fucking love you. You you know I love you, right, Bugsy? Yeah, I know, Zan. I know. How many, how many bottles of vodka did you all have? Uh, I think I'm on the fifth one. I uh, pretty sure. Pretty sure. No one, but no one, Bugsy. He doesn't even really drink whiskey. He drinks sake. Hey, nothing wrong with a little sake. Other than you get one. Other than you get wine drinker. What's wrong with drinking a little wine, Bugsy? Oh, that's cool. If you want to be classy, if you want to be Mr. Classy Boy every time. Uh, guys, guys, can I tell you something? Sure thing, Zan. Sure thing. You know how much I actually love you guys. I, I'm sorry I'm never really around. You know, Zula being the, being my low, being my little love princess. She's very demanding, and we pretty much fuck every other night because she's always in the mood. I think Fire Nation people are just naturally horny because think about it, they're always in heat. <laughs> I was like, I mean, Zan, you know, I don't think that's how that works. Dude, it's totally how it works. Guys, you guys ever wonder one thing? Like, we can't as lords, right? We're supposed to be descendants of fallen angels, right? Mm-hmm. So, what is the... So, now that we figured out that we coexist in humans, does that mean fallen angels were always a thing? Or were they just things that humans tried to freaking make to to rationalize why a bunch of semi-human people have black wings. How are you high or drunk? I don't know. I, dude, I'm totally fucking drunk. <sighs> we haven't drunk like, we haven't really drank like this in years. Yeah. Funny thing, that. So, so you know, I feel really, really relaxed right now. I'm gonna take off my clothes and strip. No, no, no. This is a family establishment, and we shall not. You shall not strip, Bugsy. The Bugsy, our damn bar is closed. It's not like anybody's gonna see my. It's not like anybody's gonna see my dick and be around. But still, we still have to not, we gotta set a good example for the kids. What kids? You know, the kids out there. Out where? Where are you pointing? You're right there. I don't see any kids right there. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I all, all I know, all I know, is that sometimes I'm very jealous of you guys. You are, are? Yeah, because you and Unsakamaru can be so fucking expressive. Me, not so much. I'm always, I'm always scared to be wacky like you guys because I have a serious job and you guys can just be the pr people you are and I had to always like be the most sensible dude in the room and I kinda hate it a little bit Arr. Arr. being the way me and Buzzy are is no picnic because sometimes, because really, am we gonna share the secret with you? Sometimes we gotta be wacky. Because of all the, because you know, it's an obvious, well, not really a coping mechanism, but it's just how we are. 
when we deal with things. You know, it's our kind of way of just saying, you know, you know, life is weird and hard, but we can still be wacky motherfuckers. So when you think about it, it kind of is a coping mechanism. But then again, uh, the ancients used to say, it's our greatest strength. I personally don't really believe that, but they say it is, and I don't want to, I don't want to think, I don't think, I don't think they're wrong. It's because me and Bugsy are so fucking wacky. I think it's because... I think that's the reason we always win. Because me and Bugsy think about shit that's so out of the box. No motherfucking villain can even comprehend our our, our, our brain power. And that's what I believe, at least. What do you think, Bugs? You know... I think you may be on to something. You know? I, I, I hate when people call us, like, Gary Stews. Because they say we always win. And the, and we got our strength. And we all, we're, we're strong because we're just strong because. No, but we we had to suffer for to get this strong. Y'all motherfuckers don't know shit about Shinola. Y'all don't know... The kind of shit I had to go through. Y'all, I have resetted the universe so many goddamn times. I don't even know. I don't even know what's me anymore. Shit, really? Nah, man, I'm just fucking with you. I know. I know the. I know which. I know what is me and what isn't. I'm just fucking with people. You know, guys, we should bring G in here for this. I don't know. I don't know because if we bring G in here, he's gonna he's gonna get drunk with us, and then he's gonna fucking cry about which girl he really loves. And I don't know. I don't know. We're happy drunk. He's more sad drunk. Eh, I mean, it couldn't hurt. Maybe, maybe drinking with us might actually calm him down. You guys are... I don't know. What do you think, Zan? I don't know, man. I think that's a good idea. Probably. Oh, I don't know. You know, you guys being drunk is very, very weird. Hey, X! You want a little bit of a drink with us? Oh, boss, you know I don't drink. You know I don't drink alcohol. I drink blood. Besides, it doesn't really do anything for me. I tried. Oh, come on. Drink with your boss. It's in order. I'm not gonna... Just as long as you don't grope my crotch. We're good. So, is that an invitation for that, or...? Or are you just saying that just to be saying that? No, I know how you get when I'm drunk. You definitely take advantage. Are you still mad about when that that time that one when you were drunk and I was still scarlet and you and we did the thing? Are you still mad about that? Well, thanks for reminding me. Jesus. Yeah, that's the reason I that is totally the reason why, whenever you're a chick, I'm a little nervous. Because I'm always reminded of what you did to my butt. I'm always reminded of that. I couldn't shit straight for a week. For a week! I'm totally sorry for that. But to be honest, don't say it. You are... You are really, really, really... Don't say it. Don't say it. The last thing I want is the shivers going crazy. And pretty much since you're a version of me and also Alucard, wouldn't it be self cessed I mean, I know your original personality is that of... I know your original, your actual form is a chick. 
But they're not going to still ship you with, you know, you being X and all. That is Scarlet. I don't, I don't mind either way. It's good with me. It's good with me if it's good with you. Uh, X, please stop with the double entendres. I don't want to lose my buzz. Uh, guys, I still don't know what Dark Darkus and the others are. And they could be plotting something and planning something. And i just been sitting around thinking where they could be. I don't even know where they could be in the multiverse. Uh, I'm worried. I'm really, really worried. Bugsy, it's gonna be okay. We gonna fight these motherfuckers, and we're gonna destroy them with our dicks. And it's gonna be the most magical thing in the world. Yeah. That indeed sounds magical. Indeed. And I agree with people that you tend to be a bit of a scary scary. We are totally not... Dude, dude, no. We don't destroy people with our dicks. Except for that one... Except for that one time in Amsterdam. Yeah, that was a weird... That was a weird time indeed. What are you guys talking about? I didn't go to Amsterdam. Oh, oh yeah. That was when you were still kind of chasing after Tenma, and me and me and Ansakamaru went to went to Amsterdam. And you know, weed's legal there, so we kind of got high, and then like we woke up. We woke up. Cha we woke up chained to a bunch of milkmaid. We woke up chained to to a bunch of chicks in milkmaid outfits, and they were like. We've come for the booty. And you know, that, that, that weird stuff. I'm shutting up my phone. Anyways. Anyways, that was a weird time. Hey, uh. You guys, you guys ever, you guys want Azula to come next time? We can see how she'd be when she's drunk. I, I don't want that because, granted, I already have enough shit in the bar that is so fucking flammable because we got a bunch of alcohol here. So we'd fucking, we'd all fucking burn. Not really right. Not really a nice way to spend an evening. I'm sorry. Your girl is... Your girl is a lot of things. But she is fucking nuts. Well, that's not her fault. She has mom issues. Her, mo her mom loved her. And she was a little bit of a psychopath. You gotta admit that. Yeah, but she's a person that just wants to be loved. You know, there's... A there's a legit difference. How is there a legit difference? Because, Bugsy, and like, and like the weird, and like, you know, when we're alone, and after we've done, like, you know, getting it on, she, you know, she basically says, am I a monster? And I'm like, no, honey, you're not a, you're not a monster. You just, you just, we're a little misguided because you always thought the Fire Nation way was the correct way. You know? You drilled into that. It wasn't your fault. And even if you. And I said, it doesn't matter to me if you are crazy. You are a monster. I love you. No matter what. And I know when I sober up, I'm probably going to forget this moment. But yeah, I love I love Zola. You know, I married her because I was deeply in love with her. And yeah, I know, I know. You and Dad always gave me flack about about being married to Azula, but she's not dangerous. She's not dangerous. She just needs love. That's all she wants. 
Yeah. Hey, Bugsy, why you never... Why, you should totally bring Equius, Gamzy, and Aerid in here. Do you really want Equius here? For all we know, when he gets drunk, he'll probably get all horny and try to... Try to fuck him, an imaginary horse. Do you guys want to see a troll bulge? I don't. It's fucking disturbing. And Aridin would probably just bring Monica, and then they would have drunk sex in the cellar. Yeah, we have a cellar, for those of you that don't know. I know I'm, I know I'm recording this. Probably for posterity, or probably just because I kind of want to just do this. But yeah, we have a cellar. And uh, Gamzee, you know, he gets kind of emotional, because he was used... You know, at the same time, he did accept being the Marvel Messiah, but he also kind of hated it. You know, you find out every, you know, your your world is nothing but a work of fiction made by a very, a very awesome dude that has yet to give the epilogue. You know, you start seeing shit. Oh, man. That must be hard. It is. I remember... I remember Gamzee had to confess to me every day about what he did, and I was like, dude, I know, I read it. But as long as you're willing to change now, it's all good. You know, I, you know, I see Gamzee as part of my, as part of our family, like I see Sands and Papyrus, because, you know, I know them and stuff, and I see, I see Papyrus, I see Gamzee is part of our family because, again, I see a little bit of myself in him. You know, we both got a share of blood on our hands. And he just felt bad for the dude. You know, he's not a bad person. It's just knowing uh, knowing that he is the reason that the Merfolk Messiahs are even around and still having to do do what he can to find out that his world isn't real. It it it, it broke him. Broke him hard. Although I am a little scared that one day the rage will overtake him and I'm gonna have to like either put him down old Geller style. Why are you worried about that? He's Oh, he's gonna be all right, isn't he? Yeah, but still, he does have moments whenever someone li listens to ICP and he does flare up. But he's taking control of that. But I still worry because you know Doc Scratch and probably to a lesser extent Calvar could probably influence him to do things. Their control on him is that deep. There are some. There are some neuro. There are some brain, there are some psychic connections he has with them, but I broke them, but they can easily be put back. Wow. You know, when you're drunk, you start thinking about all the stuff that could kill us. No. I mean, I think I'm more worried than anything. I think when you really strip back the goofy the goofy eh, persona I have. Be really stripped back my goofiness and my carefree attitude. You just get a dude who worries too much. Eh. Don't worry, bro. I'll always be by your side. Even if I got like... Even if me and Stocking ever do have kids, I'm always gonna have your back. Same here, dude. Because I love you, idiots. You guys are the reason I came back to I came back to begin with. Because I love you guys so much. You still took and Bugsy, you guys still brought me back into the fold even after everything I did. It's water under the bridge, har. Yeah man, we Yeah man. We love you. And see, I know we have a rivalry, 
But I love you too, man. I know, man. I know. Sometimes I don't even feel like I deserve it. Because I've all... Because I always had this deep hatred for you. And I remember when we were, I mean, we're twins. And I always had this deep, deep hatred for you. I shouldn't. Because you never gave a reason to really hate you. It was just me being mad that Dad chose you over me. And I should have accepted it. Bro, come here. Let me give you a hug. Nah, you don't need to do that. Come here. Come here, flame boy. Give me a hug. Give. Give your little bro. Give your little bro a hug. You actually admit that you're a little brother. You actually came out. Like, if I remember cor if I looked at our medical records correctly, you actually came out before I did, so... Yeah, you are the older brother, in a sense. Even though I don't think we'll both admit this when we get sober. And fair enough. Just remember, Z. No matter what you do and no matter what you say, I will always... I will always truly care about you, no matter what. Uh, buddy, you cry uh, bro, you crying? I'm not crying. I'm just deep. I'm just deeply braving. Nah, you crying. Dad still trust us to take care of our clan. I don't even know. I don't even think we can do it. We all of us have no training in this. We can't prepare. Oh, it's easy, it's easy. We're doing good. We got a council. Um, even though our freaking thing is under a under a democracy, I still have final say. And what in, in any decision, we all have final say. So it's all good. But didn't you always hate being king? I did. But when you really start thinking about it, I had to. I had to be the king that people want. I had to be the king that dad wanted me to be. And I've always ducked and dodged that responsibility like it was the plague. But he's gone now. And all I'm left with is, is the shoes that I have to fill because he's gone. We all got that. And I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can be the guy that Dad wants me to be. Bugsy, again, you've got us. And you got that... You got you got that va you got that vampire over there that's thinking about making sweet sweet love to you. X is not thinking about making love to me. Oh shit, he is. Well, hey, uh, X, can you X? Could you just answer a question? Like, we know you can switch from being a male to to female, but which one do you actually prefer? You know, that's actually a good question. I don't really know. I just kind of switch in and out. But if we're being honest, I'd rather be a dude because my emotions run high when I'm a chick. And my love, my love for our leader kind of shows. It shows now, too. You act like your emotions are separate from your female self to your male self, but it still translates because it's still you. You act like... Don't act like you're... Don't act like you actually got all the answers, drunk... My drunk boss. 
I'm just glad when you poured the drinks, you didn't roofie me. So thank God. <laughs> okay, I think we should end this now. It's getting kind of long. Yeah. Well, I'm drunk, Bugsy. I'm drunk on I'm drunk on Sakamaru, also known as Phantom Dog. I'm very, very, very intoxicated. I'm I'm Harim I'm Kenji Harimakuro, and I'm drunk. I'm Zen, and I am completely, utterly fucked up, both mentally and physically. Well, not physically, probably more mentally. We'll see you guys later, and and me when you become sober. And me when you come when you become sober, post this video because you know you're gonna you know we just spelled out every secret we have, or at least the ones that actually still kind of matter. Okay, good. Hey, but hey, on tomorrow, you want to sing an Irish drinking song? They took the cat. They took the gin. They took everything that was in. The true chest of the chaos lords. You didn't know this, but the ca but chaos lords are Irish, and we have a little bit of Irish in our blood. A little bit, not a lot. I think that's why we. I think that's why we get in the fights more often. I think that's a stereotype. Is it? I don't know. No, I mean, like, really. Is it? Or is it just because we're safe? Is this because we're chaos lords and we just, we just have the, we, do we just have the, we just have, like, the urge to fight? Asakamari, you blew my fucking mind, but let's get out of here. I don't think the, I don't think when we're sober, we want everybody to know our secrets. Oh, yeah. Well, see you guys later. Bye, guys. We'll probably do more of these when I feel like it.